The story we're following today at 5, Governor Ron DeSantis was in Jacksonville today promoting a legislative proposal to reform state insurance lawsuits, changes that would resemble what lawmakers did for property insurance in December. And the governor also addressed his ongoing dispute with the College Board over AP courses and the anniversary of the Parkland Massacre. On your side, Satia Collins was there and questioned the governor about videos of empty bookshelves in Duval County Schools that have gone viral since they were first posted, Atia. Yeah, that's right, Anthony. Governor DeSantis responded by claiming that videos of empty bookshelves were created to promote a fake narrative and that the removal of the books is politically motivated. Now, in this video, which had over 5 million views in the beginning of February, you see the empty shelves. This was taken by Brian Covey. He is a father who is also a substitute teacher at Mandarin Middle School. Now, Governor DeSantis saying today that the new book guidelines came in response to parents' concerns about inappropriate material. And he went on to say that schools are try trying to, quote, virtue signal by removing the books. Take a listen. Go read books like Gender Queer and see what's in there. Uh, it's inappropriate. So we've armed parents the ability to, to object to that and to make sure that they're having education and, and not indoctrination. But anytime you hear about something that seems so outlandish, just understand uh, they're manufacturing that uh, to try to create uh, a narrative. Now, the governor went on to say he has asked the State Department of Education to talk to school districts and have them justify why books are being removed from shelves. In the newsroom, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.